going to show you. So SPO2 probe, I'm going to go ahead and put that on there. And so they'll put an SPO2 probe on this patient here. And then when they do that, that they'll state to their, pa their partner in closed loop communication. I have 98% on four liters of nasal can uh, via nasal cannula and we have a heart rate of 74. And then when they state that, because they found it on their assessment tool, I will go ahead and pop it up and then they are able to then um, get the correct information. Say, you know, they didn't count their respirations correct, right? Yeah. Or they didn't get their pulse. At that time, they're able to get the correct information and it's available to them. They will continue uh, talking to the patient as the patient. If they touch the patient, they have to state that they're going to touch, just like we would in a real environment. Um, what else? We can give medications so they're able to learn about IV pumps and IV medications that they can put through the pumps, IMs. We do have a medication cart. So, uh, what else could we pop? We can pop a thermometer up here. And so really also, it's kind of like a little, I say it's a little cheat sheet too. Like, hey, am I missing anything? Uh -huh. Let's look up there. Okay, well, we forgot to state that we were gonna do respiratory rate. All right, then once it is, we can also, once it's recording, we can mark it. So if there was a critical error and it's something that we need to discuss during debriefing, where a lot of the magic happens too. We get those feelings out and we, we talk about what happened and what we could do better.